Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iOS device to iOS 13 and take advantage of some cool features like dark mode. Let's get started. Now before we begin, you need to make sure that your device is supported to update iOS 13. If yours is not listed, unfortunately, you won't be able to perform this update. Second, have a charger on hand. If your device is lower than 50% battery, it will not be able to perform the update. And lastly, make sure you have a consistent and fast internet connection and you have enough storage space on your device to install the update. You'll see exactly how much storage this is gonna take up on my device as we perform this update. Now at this point, you wanna back up your device to ensure that if anything does go wrong, which it shouldn't, that you do have backup. So you can either use your iCloud in your settings application, you can use iTunes, or there's a device like this one right here. This is the Transcend Jet Drive. It connects to your phone. You can load your files, your photos, your videos on that. Once you've backed it up, you can tap General and then tap Software Update. So there you go, it took a second. It found the iOS 13 update and you can see it's going to take 2.04 gigabytes of space. Once you've gone through this, you can read it, tap download and install, put in your passcode. You can read through all of this, tap agree, tap agree again. You'll see it says update requested. We'll just wait for it. It's starting to download. At the top, you can see how long it's going to take. It started off at 24, now it's saying 11 minutes. It'll probably be very quick. Depending on your internet speed, you'll also see different times. All right, and it's done. We'll tap install now. Okay, so the phone will then begin installing. You'll notice that it'll turn off and on. You'll also see some status bars appear. I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to wait, but at this point, just let it do its thing. Keep it plugged up to your charger. Don't use it. Don't try to turn it off or on or anything like that. It'll notify you when it's done. All right, so there it is. The update has completed. We have swipe up to finish setting up iOS 13. We'll do that. We'll put in our password. And as usual, you'll need to go through some of the initial setup here. You'll see some of the new features like the new dark mode. So if we tap on dark mode, you'll get an idea of how it's going to look. So a lot of features within iOS will then take advantage of that. And hopefully other apps will come in and utilize it as well. Let's turn it on for this and we'll tap continue and we'll swipe up. And there we go. Now, tied in with iOS 13 are a few new features as well. I just showed you the dark mode. You can access it simply by going into your control center and then holding on the brightness button. You can see it down here, dark is on. You can turn it back to light, back to dark, totally up to you. We're gonna play with dark mode right now. There's also some new iOS 13 wallpapers. So we'll just open up the wallpapers application. So we'll tap, choose a new wallpaper and you can tap on the still section. And these are the new ones for iOS 13. So let's say we wanted to use this blue. You can see that one right there. It does look a little bit different. When you tap on this, it gives you that perspective on and off kind of thing. We'll set this one, we'll use it for both. And we'll take a quick yeah. look here. I'll be covering some of the main features on the channel. So if you're interested in learning how they all work, definitely hit that subscribe button. But that is it for how to install and update your iOS device to iOS 13. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.